What's going on people? So as I said in that last video, this is the other video that I have to record, right? So as you saw, this is going to be, what is this? Some kind of Ultra Boost something or other. I've had a lot of Ultra Boost things going on lately. I did say a long time ago that I was a fan of it, you know? So it shouldn't be like surprising or whatever. But this particular pair, there was like last month, I think it was or something. Adidas was doing that whole, oh, well, if you're a member of our thing, here, take this coupon. And it's a one-time use for, like, $35 off of whatever. Something like that. So, me being me, I took advantage of that and bought something. So, there's a side of the box for you, all that good stuff, right? Now, looking at these, I saw a pair in Finish Line a while ago. And I thought they looked alright, you know? But I figured I'll wait for them to come down in price, and well, that didn't quite happen, right? But I did see these, and I was like, well, these have come down in price already, because they were marked down, and then on top of it, maybe they were all maybe just cheap, I don't know, but I feel like they were marked down already, and then with that coupon code, it marked them even further down. So here we are, right? Yeah, these, these are looking pretty all right. I was kind of on the fence initially. I was thinking like this might be one of those things that I buy and then I review and I walk around for a little while and then they just go to my brother. But these, just off the visual, might just happen to stay in the collection. We'll see. So what does this just say? NMD R1 Tread. All right, whatever. I guess that makes sense. I mean, simple names for simple shoes, right? But anyways, it is now review time on this right here, ladies and gentlemen, the Adidas NMD R1 Trail in some kind of cyan pink type color thing and some gray and some black. So there's that. Now that we've gone over the intro, it is time to start with the bottom. So here we go. Down there, what you're looking at is a very, very rugged looking outsole. And I say that only because if you look at the height of these little pieces, it almost looks like a, like a soccer cleat maybe. I think that's what I'm picturing. But yes, anyway, so down at the bottom, you, you do see the continental rubber. So since these are trail type shoes, you do want something that's gonna have some trail type durability. That's where that continental rubber comes in. Moving on up here to this here midsole, you got this kind of a space looking thing. And I say that because it makes it look like stars. Some people may see other things when they look at it, but I'm not you, I see what I see. Now, you do have these two, the two blocks on the outer side and one on the inner side. I'm not quite sure what those stand for, or not stand for, but what those do for the shoe, I never remember, and I always look it up and I always forget, so I should probably just stop looking it up or remember. But anyways, they are there in black. So moving on past that up here to the upper and stuff because that's worth talking about more so in my opinion. So around the whole shoe basically you have this this gray piece here which I'm not even sure what that is. It feels like something that somebody painted over. It's kind of a rubbery sort of feel. It's weird but I think it's going to be for that durability from like water and stuff like that right. So that's seeming pretty nice. And it comes up just a little bit onto the upper toe box area, right? Not the whole thing, but just, just enough. So you have that. And then under it, you can kind of feel that it goes straight into the rest of the mesh that's on the upper. Now, let me take this little block out here because being able to get an idea for how thick something is, it's impossible almost when you got that thing in there. But these, looking at the toe, the, not the toe box, but the rest of the upper, since it's all very much just this this pinkish color here so you got that going on but it feels pretty good it feels fairly thick but it feels like it might still have some decent mobility in there for what it is i'll figure that out in a few minutes or whatever sure but right now i'm thinking it's going to be all right and then moving on up just a little bit we're going to hit this here top of the tongue area since this is all one piece it just goes straight into it so there you have that older style adidas logo with the adidas words at the bottom or adidas word adidas name whatever at the bottom and you've got some pretty cool little ropey laces in here they i mean then i guess they're not really cool or whatever but i like them so there's that they feel a little odd but i like the look so there's that and now moving a little bit under that 
those laces and that little lace holder thing, you have these straps that form the Adidas logo on the side. And as you can kind of tell, they're not all the way stitched down. They, they are at the top around the, where the pinkish purple area is, but not down below where that other stuff is going on because that just wouldn't make sense now, would it? Moving back to the back of the shoe over there, what you're looking at is pretty much just the same thing you saw on the front, that Adidas logo with Adidas written under it. And on this, you happen to have some, what is it, like German, I guess, on this one. And on the other shoe, you have it in, I guess that would be Japanese, perhaps. I don't know. You tell me. But anyways, that's there with black text on a bright orange, maybe it's safety orange by some people, pull tab. And so there we go. I believe we've covered that whole upper. So let's go ahead and talk about the inside. So looking down here at the inside of the shoe, on the insole, you do have this boost written down in that same orange color. And the rest of it is pretty much just the shoe, right? Because there's no insole in these. It's one of the things that I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to NMDs. I could buy an insole, yes, but I just want the shoe to come as a complete package personally. So that's where they lose a, little, a few points. But there you go, quick shot of there. You just see all it is is just the, the boost under there with a little bit of um, whatever this fabric is. Feels like a felt almost at the bottom of the shoe. But that would be that. So now that we've done that, the next part would be the whole putting them on so you can see what they actually look like as I wear them, not as I hold them. So give me a second, I'm gonna go knock that out. I'll be back with some videos for you. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I put these on, these are a nine and a half. I might've mentioned that before, maybe I didn't. And they felt a little bit loose, right? Because that's just how NMDs feel to me. I didn't really think too much of it. But then I did do a quick comparison and I gotta say that these do feel looser or bigger or whatever than your standard NMD R1. So sizing wise, normally I wouldn't recommend going down at all, but on these, even though I'm not gonna say to, it's definitely something worth really considering because the space difference in these versus other ones, I'm not really a huge fan of that. You could also fix that with some thicker socks or something, but it's just something to put out there, right? So it could be partly the whole different material thing, I don't know. But again, just comparing these to another pair, these felt a lot more roomy, and the NMDs already felt roomy to me. So there's that. But anyways, otherwise, past that, you know, looking at just how they feel wearing them and stuff. I mean, I never really thought NMDs were all that comfortable anyway, and these feel like I would expect them to feel, which is not like awful, I guess, but nothing that I would recommend, right? But again, these are made for trails and stuff, so I feel like from what I saw just walking around here that I'll be good with that, you know what I mean? Because it's gonna be extra durable and all that stuff, so you gotta kinda make those uh, compromises or whatever. So, even though they're not super comfortable to walk around in, they are going to be durable for what they're needed for. So in that way, I think it's fine to overlook that. <clears throat> How these would stack up to, I just bought some other kind of trail, outdoor type shoe. I can't remember what that was, honestly, but, Either way, compared to those, I'd probably pick the other thing, whatever that was. I'd, I'll put a picture in there later, but yeah, these, yeah, I don't know. It's, if you get your sizing right and you're an outdoors person to, enough to like make use of them, it's totally worth getting though. But anyways, I don't think there's too much else to say about this. So again, consider going down because there's a lot of room in there and don't expect any amazing comfort, but expect to be good enough for what you're gonna be wanting on a trail type experience. I think that sums up this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, it does. But anyway, so here you go. This is the shoe that I had compared these to. It was the NMD R1 that was highest up on the on my shelf or whatever. So yeah, I just went by these and the amount of room in these compared to these, it was like so much, you know? I was like, what is going on here, you know? But I get it, it's a different type of material. I feel like my last R1s, which was like that black and yellow pair, felt closer to these. So I feel like that experience is something that's just gonna be tied to these. I wish I can remember what that other shoe was, but you know, when you do enough reviews, it's hard to kind of keep everything together, you know? 
But anyways, I think we're good here. So have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am done now, I guess. So yeah, that's that's all right. Though I do have some other stuff to do, but that's those are mostly talking videos. Those are a lot easier. Like, well, I might have to put some thumbnails in there, but it's not an actual review, so it should be easier. All right, later, people.